Hi, I'm uh, Phil Hands. I'm the political cartoonist at the Wisconsin State Journal. Uh, I draw between four and five editorial cartoons a week for the newspaper, and I've been doing that on staff here since uh, last August. I've been drawing cartoons for the paper uh, as a freelancer since 2005. I wanted to draw a cartoon about the VA because it's been in the news a lot and it's just so horrible what's happening to our veterans across uh, this, this country and the, and the lack of services that they're getting and the lies that the VA has been telling about the services. Um, you know, Memorial Day weekends isn't just a weekend to go, go out and barbecue and get sales. Um, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to remember the sacrifices of the people that went ahead of us and I wanted to draw this cartoon with the VA completely forgetting all the sacrifices that our veterans have made. Well, I'm trying to add, is, I'm trying to add color to the, the image and make it pop. Um, the color really makes everything shine a lot uh, more more interestingly than just a black and white image does um, and so I'm, I'm adding layers of color and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just First of all, just blocking in all the pe all the sections with you know there's green grass and a brown fence and uh, and, and then you know all, you know skin tones for the faces and I always like to add a little bit more interest to the face so I do that in several different layers I'll do it just a, like either a peach or a dark tone for the flesh uh, of the skin and then I'll go in and add a couple of different layers of of interest and texture uh, so that it looks a little bit more uh, kind of like a watercolor painting is what I'm trying to capture with it when I do a face and I just try and do that for the face is because I want to make those really interesting to look at. Um, and then after I get all the colors blocked in, I go in with a, with a really dark color, um, like a really dark blue, and I use those for all my shadows. Um, and I think that really helps form the, feature, form the figures and make them, make them look uh, three-dimensional to a certain extent. Um, and then, of course, I always lighten up that, that really dark color uh, so that it kind of fades into the background and tries to create a really um, uh, balanced and composed image.